I'm Candace Steyer. And I'm Wendy Lovedge. And this is Mile High News. So hey, Candace, what article do you have for us today? Well, Wendy, today I would like to switch gears a little bit, and I came across an article out of Cannabis Net talking about hemp rebar. It got me thinking about all the amazing materials that they are making out of hemp now and how beneficial it would be to our environment. Right. So that sounds interesting. What is hemp rebar? Well, hemp rebar is the bars they put in concrete, Mm -hmm. like to keep it together, basically, because if you just pour concrete, it's just going to kind of go everywhere. And this, you can use it in all kinds of building materials, but that's the one I know the most about. Mm -hmm. Um, I know researchers are confirming that hemp rebar could be a suitable alternative to steel and cement construction. About 150 years ago, before this drug war started, um, we produced over 75% of the goods consumed by America. It is a critical time where our environment is degrading, our climate change going on. A friendly crop like hemp could really change the world. I know at a time right now, we're thinking about gas and how it's been $5 a gallon almost lately. Hemp fuel could provide the world with almost unlimited source of energy, environmental friendly and cost efficient. Just 6% of America's hemp um, crops would be enough to replace fossil fuels and nuclear power. Just 6%, wow. What a big change that would be. That's amazing. For sure. And then we got paper and cardboard. It takes decades to grow these trees for our paper. Mm -hmm. And in a matter of months, we could provide high quality paper. And it also would be acid free and recycled seven times instead of just three like normal paper. Wow. Seven times. So how much would that save us? Like, you know, just on the trees alone, but then also for the environment. That's that's absolutely wonderful. I would love to see that. Um, as a replacement for plastic, I mean, hemp would be so helpful to our environment. They say by 2050 that there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Wow. And we're already ingesting um, plastic that's already in the ocean. So, and we don't even know what that's going to do to people, you know, as they, I guess, as they study it, we'll find out. But Gosh, if they would just replace plastic with hemp, it would make um, it would make a world of difference for sure. Um, and then hempcrete, I get so excited when I think about hempcrete. You know, I live in the South where there's uh, often mold issues, pests. If if we just built with hemp, it we wouldn't have those issues. You know, it's not going to grow yep. mold. It's not going to um, attract any pests, and it's fireproof. So it's much safer for your family to have the house built out of hempcrete and other buildings too, you know. Um, So I would love to see that uh, come forward for sure. Yes, and think about the second that they would have a little bit more time to get out of when your house is on fire Mm -hmm. because wood just goes up. But hempcrete being flammable would give you those extra seconds before it spreads to another room for your family to get out. And that and alone is, is just, amazing right it, it gives people a little more peace of mind uh, one less thing to worry about <laughs> yeah that, and that's always good mm-hmm. and then of course we know all about fabrics and clothing mm-hmm. that hemp uh can be made make many many shirts shoes all kinds of good stuff but did you know about ink i did not know about ink i saw that on on your list and i was like what <laughs> we can make ink out of yeah. hemp I didn't know about it either. I was like, wow, okay. So it's a non-toxic ink too that dries faster and needs less processing. Nice, nice. It, you know, hemp will save the world if we let it. It can do all these things and more. Um, so this has been such a great report. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you as always. I'm looking forward to next week. And yes. this has been Mile High News on the Edge Show. I'm Candace Dyer. And I'm Wendy Lovett. Stay lit, everyone. Mm-hmm.